You have the requirement to group a set of assets in your project for a tool you utilize. So how are you about to do it? For instance, you may have a tool that makes assigning script icons a breeze, but you need to know which textures in your project are assigned to be those script icons. Now, you could add them in a single folder, but then if those assets came in with libraries, you really wouldn't want to move them outside of the libraries. You could use the same folder name or have icons that conform to a certain naming convention. Now, this is a viable option to you. You just have to make sure that everyone knows the convention and sticks to it. Alternatively, we can label these items with the label ability Unity provides us. And that's what we'll look at in this video. And to demonstrate, I've installed the new Reach UI asset pack. So the project has a load of images to work with. As always, I will leave a link in the description if you want to get that asset for yourself. So let's go back to our example of script icons. I have an icon here that I want to use as a script icon. Now I can go down to the label button down the bottom here, as you can see. If I press on it, a pop-up comes up that gives me all the labels that I have available to me. Now, the first time I do this, I'll actually have to type in completely script icon to be able to use it. And I press enter and there you go. Script icon has been applied. The next time I do it, all I have to do is press on my label icon and start typing in the one I'm interested in. And you'll see it pops up script icon. And there we go. Now, alternatively, we can make a script that will apply and remove these labels and we'll make a menu item to make it happen. So under editor, I've already started. I've got my script icon menu items class. And as you can see, I've got functions for assign and remove here. I just need to fill in the details. Now, all these do is set it up as a menu and get the objects from my selected objects. And then I'll pass through those objects and apply that label. So we're going to want to use the asset database here, which comes from Unity Editor. And we're going to use set labels. And the first item that comes up is what object are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the first selected in our group and pass through the list. And then we're going to want to set what labels we want. Now, there isn't a single option here. You have to do it as an array. And I only actually want to apply one single label to this particular item. So we'll come in here and we'll use the constant I've set up as label. Great. And there's our constant script icon. If I save this and I come back into Unity, then all I need to do is go to the last icon I have that hasn't had a label applied, come to my tools, script icons, assign label, and it's done. There you go. A label has been applied. Now to remove that label, let's create the other menu option. So we're in here and we can just use the asset database dot clear labels. And what that'll do is that will remove the labels from our object. And we've got the same thing here. We're going for our selection. So we save, come back into Unity. And this time we'll select all three and we'll say tools, script icons, remove label. And boom, it's removed it. Now there's a problem here with these two functions. If we go back in, we can see that we're actually going to overwrite all the labels that are attached to that particular object. And here, we're just going to clear all the labels from that object. But what happens if there are labels for other things? We want to manage that aspect. So if we come into our assign label, instead of that, what we'll do is we'll get the current labels that are assigned to that particular object. So we'll make an array of labels. And we'll say, OK, asset database dot get labels and we'll get the labels from the object. Good stuff. Right. Then we're going to say, OK, well, do those labels actually exist? Now, there's a little unknown utility called the array utility. And what that does is it actually makes it quite easy to manipulate and play with arrays if you haven't got your own library set up to do anything with them. So here we're just going to ask, does that array actually contain the label we're interested in. So we'll do that. OK, label. And as you can see, we've set it up to be not. So does it not contain it? Well, if it doesn't contain it, then we'll add it to the labels that exist. So add string reference the array. There we go. We're adding the array to we're adding the label to the array. And then we just want to do the same thing we've done before, set labels. And in setting our labels, we're going to use our object and our labels. There we go. So that's all done for the assignment. But what about the removal? Well, same sort of thing. We'll 
comment that out because we're not going to be using it. But we'll get our labels again, same way. And then this time we actually want to remove. So array utility dot remove string reference the labels and we'll remove our label. And then as before, we'll just set that. And there we have it. If we come back into Unity, now let's have a play. If we assigned the sky label to all of our icons here, and then we go ahead and we add a label, we can see script icon turns up. And then if we go ahead and remove that label, it removes it without affecting the previous label. Well, that's all well and good, but we're going to want to use it in our tool. So how do we find these? Well, let's apply the labels again, and we'll jump straight back into Visual Studio. Now down here, I've got my find option. Now I've gone through how to find things in the asset database before using the find assets functionality. And here you can see I've set it up to say type of texture 2D. Now, if I was to run this, so I'll come back into Unity and I'll say tool script icons find, if we look in our console, we're getting a lot because we're getting all the texture 2Ds. Now we don't want to do that. We want to look at the label. So we use the prefix L and then we use the label. Well, in this case, I have it all set up in a constant. So I can come in here and I can just say, yep, use my label. All done. Save that. And then I'll come back into Unity. And now if I run it, tools, script icons, find. I'm only getting the icons in here, the attribute icon, the script icon, and the tool script icon. With this ability, you can create tools like this script icon assignment tool. Let me know in the comments if you want me to create a video on how that works. Also, let me know in the comments how you would group your assets. And always remember the one, two, three. Like, subscribe, and maybe even join, depending on how much you're getting out of these videos. Now, the next video on screen is even more informative.